I know you're gonna dig this. I don't understand what's going on. Hey guys, welcome to today's This Is What Happened But You Missed Because You Weren't Here. Um, typical Sunday, Dad and I taking a quick dip in the pool. It's looking beautiful. Um, going to Granny's house as usual. I feel like we've been doing this for the past few Sundays, the same thing. Lily, what's up? Lucy was just over there at the bat's house, the bat cave. I was like, get out of there. Ah, what are you doing, baby girl? She said, I want to go in the pool, but I don't know if I like it. Yeah, so I'm gonna enjoy another beautiful day. I feel like this whole week has been really, really nice. Um, can't really complain about the weather. It's been a perfect pool week, so that's awesome. The only thing I would say is we could probably use some rain. So hopefully um, it'll rain like when we're asleep and <laughs> when it doesn't really matter to us, that'd be cool. So I'm gonna go enjoy. All right, Marco, he sniffs out the new recipes. So uh, I made some, there's two batches. Here. Well, it's one batch, but it's only half of it fit on a tray. It's a red bean paste uh, bun. It's, um, it's like a bun with sweet red bean paste in it, zuki beans. I don't know how good it's gonna be. I never made it before. <laughs> Let's see what Mark thinks. It's really doughy. It's really doughy? Maybe it has to go another minute. Let's see. I could smell it before I even... Maybe. Yeah, it's yeah. very, very doughy. Am I even showing myself? Maybe this one could go in again. But that one I think is better. It's a little bit darker. I think these were thicker than the ones in the recipe. We can pop this back in the in the um, toaster. But what about the flavor? It's a little bit sweet because the red beans are sweetened with some coconut sugar, and the dough is a sweet dough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can tell. But I think it's pretty good. Yeah. It's got black sesame on the top. Maybe we should try one of these too. Well, that just came out. It's gonna be blazing hot. <laughs> no, don't touch those. Those have salt. They haven't been mixed. I like salt. Honey. I'm putting these back in the oven. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I wanted to make mochi balls, but those are. Um, my red bean paste wasn't thick enough. I had to add flour to the red bean paste because mine came out too watery. And I don't know why, unless I overcooked the uh, beans. And you couldn't leave it alone. You had to cut into it, right? No. I think it's going to be doughy as well. You think? You can just smell it. Well, it's got yeast in it. How is it? Is it is that one as doughy? Mm -hmm. It is? Well, maybe it's supposed to be like that. If you guys know if it's supposed to be doughy or not, leave it in the comments. Maybe mine was the... Um, I mean, it's cooked. It's not like it's... Yeah. Maybe my fillet, my um, whatever was too thick. Hmm. The amount of like dough was too thick. But I followed the directions. I don't, I'd definitely make it again, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah. I think I might roll it out a little bit thinner or something next time. We'll see what happens. But Quiet, definitely naturally. would make these again. What do you think, Lucy? Yeah, I would make them again. Um, hey, remember when uh, you interviewed Granny for that school project? I was just thinking about that. Yeah. Remember that? Oh, yes, I do. Yes, you got an A for on it. I, I did. What did the professor say? They're like, oh, this is wonderful. Where, where was he from? <laughs> it was a lady. A lady. I thought it was a lady. Yeah, that was my women's history class. History? Women's history. Where was she from? I don't know. She must have said, this was the most interesting life I have ever heard. 
It was. It was a very, it was a very interesting and exciting life. Whenever you live in Manhattan, it's got to be interesting and exciting. Yep. My favorite part was the toilet paper newspaper. Oh. About oh, how you I had to rip up the oh, newspaper. I know. And we thought nothing of it back then, you know. We thought nothing of it. We thought that's that's a way of life. Could know? you go in the store and buy toilet paper if you had, like, money? They didn't <laughs> have it. They, come on, they must have had toilet Nobody paper. Nobody had toilet paper, I'm telling you. Would they use 20s if you're rich? <laughs> or would they use cloth? No, well, they, what they used to use was the, um, the phone books. Yeah, what if you were, like, uh, Rockefeller? What do you think was you in the mansion? You were opening up newspaper in the Ritz. <laughs> yeah, really. What if you stayed at the, uh, the Waldorf Astoria or whatever, or the, um... Ritz-Carlton, like a fancy yeah, hotel a in the city. Yeah, well, they had a lot of hotels. So what you wipe? What'd you wipe your butt with? Aww. Well, some people. I I wouldn't mind using the um, the phone book. Paper. <laughs> the phone I book. didn't mean for this to go there. <laughs> but newspaper, I just couldn't see using newspaper. But the phone book, it was much finer paper. But what did the rich people use? I don't know. We we just didn't know, you know. <laughs> I think they them. had toilet paper. Them. I don't think they were wiping their, their butts with newspaper well, at a fancy maybe in hotel. maybe the hotels they put toilet paper. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Something else, please. Pull down your pants and take a dump. <laughs> no, didn't I tell you that the toilets were out in the hall? I know. We had that in, in the, the corridor. Room. No, not in the corridor. In the hall. In the hallway. Because what's a corridor? An inside Inside hallway. the house. Right. right. See, but Aunt Jean says, no, Mom, that's not true. <sighs> I says, if you lived in Manhattan, the toilets were outside in the hall. Why didn't she believe you, Granny? And Jean, I, you just got to say, yes, Granny. The hallway <laughs> is outside and the corridor is inside. Corridor. Because they had, mm -hmm. remember like that song, what was that with, uh, what was his name that, um, who passed away that, um, Tony Orlando. No, no. no yes, no, Tony the, Orlando and Dawn. No, the other uh, one with that lives in Manhattan there. Um, yeah, knock three times. times. Yeah, that's Tony Orlando. Hello. Knock three times <laughs> on the ceiling if you want me. What does that mean? Oh, my darling, and I'll meet you in the hallway. What is, not, what is if you want me mean? Does that mean he wants a booty call? I don't know. I, 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 know I wasn't thinking of that. You know. Or does like he mean, I want to marry you, and then we can do it. <laughs> you want me to daughter, marry you? Daughter. daughter, you shouldn't be talking like daughter. that. I'm 50, okay? <laughs> I can talk like that. What did it mean? I want to know what your take on it I is. I don't know. That was altogether different in my day, you know? You didn't think <laughs> nothing. You didn't think bad things, um, you know? You did not think anything bad, you know? Even Ever. Though, even though the song might have thought you did, you know? <laughs> Granny picked out my husband today. Yes, he, yes, she did. And, Do and I you tell everyone who it is? Who's Maddie's future husband? I think it should be Josh Groban. Josh Groban? What does he <laughs> Again, look like? I forgot to make that scene. Oh, great, what man. What does he look like? He looks like... The exact opposite of what you... Imagine. Yeah. Oh. But <laughs> tell everyone who you picked out. Clint Eastwood's son. Yes. Scott Eastwood. Yeah, I thought he looked nice. Yeah, he's five years older, though. You know, I remember when we went to your graduation, man. Uh -huh. I saw a lot of handsome fellas, but I don't know. Which who graduation was this? High school. Okay. I don't know who they are, though. You would know. Do you have a yearbook? I do. You bring it next time. <laughs> <laughs> <No. laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Does Chrissy have one, too? <laughs> Are you going to pick one out for her, too? Tell Chrissy to bring it. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I ever saw it. I think you probably did, but it was like years ago. I haven't looked at it in a while. Why do you have it? Hi. <laughs> Granny was on point tonight. Yep. She sure was. Oh, uh... 
I don't know. <laughs> you guys should have heard some of the stuff that wasn't on camera. Oh my god. It was great. How many? I'm just having a few of those. Just like two. Okay. Just whatever. <laughs> Alright. How many of these? One. <laughs> Are you gonna listen? Okay. There we go. <laughs> I'm gonna forego my Big Newton room tonight <gasps> and just go to the pretzel suite. Wow. That's a big move. Are you sure that's a good idea? Yes, because I'm inviting white chocolate to spend the night <gasps> with me. But it's so early. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> You're gonna get a lot of backlash from that. I know. It's love at first sight, though. I always knew that that was the one. Whoa. In fact, that's what it said on the uh, gossip sheets. Mm -hmm. I always knew he was the one. That's why I had to sleep with Nick. Yeah, really. Really? I know. Okay. I'm gonna clay. I don't know. I don't know. Tail pot. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. So, did I say anything? No. Alright, so... It's actually Monday right now. Mm -hmm. So, we're wrapping this up on the day that you're watching it. Mm -hmm. As we do most of the vlogs. Mm -hmm. It's so <laughs> late. We're gonna watch a little BBAD. Big Brother After Dark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're gonna see the old lady fall on the floor commercial. No! We're going to see the transvaginal mesh commercial. No. <laughs> we already saw that. We're going to see the, um, what other popular commercial is there? I don't want to talk about it. All right. Well, I want to thank you all for coming out because we appreciate you all so much. We do. <laughs> and until next time. Much love.